Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the locals first policy of the various state governments. This topic is very important from the perspective of prelims examination specifically the constitutional provisions and from the perspective of GS mains paper 2. Let's begin with the various topics that we are going to discuss under this heading. These are the many topics that we are going to cover step by step. Kindly pay attention to how I will go through each and every segment because whatever segments we provide you in the in news series is factual in nature plus conceptual in nature. So whenever you are going to have an answer writing practice, you will be able to easily do it if you keep in mind all the points that we are going to get you through. Why are we discussing it? Because the Supreme Court on Wednesday has set aside the Punjab and Haryana High Court's interim order to put a stay on the implementation of Haryana government's policy to provide a reservation to the local cadre in the state itself in private jobs. So there must be so many things that are coming into your mind. What about right to equality? Article 14. What about Article 16? What about all these articles? What about the unity in diversity? Everything we are going to cover. Moving on, if we talk about the current news, a bench of Justice L. Nageswara Rao and Pane Dighantam Shri Narsimham, they have said that the High Court has not given any sufficient reason to stay the law. We are going to discuss about the law also. It has also said, that the High Court needs to take out an opinion into the public domain, a ruling, within one month. And also, it has asked the government not to have any ill attitude towards those private employers who are not willing to implement the policy until and unless a proper ruling comes out. Now, this is the entire issue. Moving on, if we talk about the background, at the heart of this entire issue is Haryana State Employee Employment of Local Candidates Act 2020, which came into being. It was passed in November 2021 and it has been enacted from January 15, 2022. What does this act want? It wants and aims to provide employment to the local cadres because unemployment and the issue of unemployment in Haryana has become so heightened that in 2019, the government promised to bring out a law to provide reservation in private jobs and this would be effective for 10 years from the effective date. The act requires private sector, remember, private sector employers to reserve 75% of the job they are providing for local youth and they should be provided to people who are domiciled in Haryana. That means either you are born in Haryana or you have been living in Haryana since the past 15 years. For the past 15 years, you are living in Haryana. And this is for the jobs who are up to minimum of rupees 30,000 per month. I hope you have understood me here. Sure. Now, there is a petition. There was a petition calling this law unconstitutional brought out to Punjab and Haryana High Court. And Haryana, the, after that, the High Court, it uh, put interim order, it brought out an interim order for an interim stay on the law. But now we saw what SC said, Supreme Court said. So it wants to provide a reservation in local jobs. Right. One thing I forgot to tell you that after this ban, what happened? that the Haryana government took the case to Supreme Court. Then only Supreme Court set aside the ban. Now, reservation in local jobs. If we talk about reservation in local jobs, we are seeing the local first policy or the sons of the soil policy getting gaining more currency and gaining more support from the places where they are actually implied upon. And Many states such as Andhra Pradesh, Karnatak, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Telangana, these states have 
sons of the soil policy or locals first policy now what do we think about this we have to get an opinion about this but before we reach to any conclusion let's see the various mechanisms that we have to understand first there are certain concerns first concern is what about constitutional provision right to equality which is enshrined in the article 14 of the constitution then article 16 precisely article 16 clause 1 talks about right to equality in terms of employment opportunities article 16 clause 2 talks about there must be no discrimination for any person in terms of employment opportunity when we talk about the basis of discrimination not to be on sex religion race caste descent place of birth and residence in article 16 clause 3 we see that the parliament can make certain laws which might give positive discrimination have positive discrimination towards people for residence now these are so many there are so many clauses that we have to learn with respect to prelims be careful then if we talk about article 371 article 371 clause d precisely the andhra pradesh government on the basis of article 371 clause d did encourage the opportunities to be available to the local cadres andhra pradesh remember it it's a special status state it is pretty divisive in the sense that it might increase the gap that is already in many states have begun since the pandemic about locals versus non-locals the fight for resources in different states it may give rise to what do we know as, know as xenophobia that means uh, many people are worried that good jobs either public or private are taken by people belonging to different states and this has given rise to protectionism and xenophobia now this these policies these laws coming into being what it gives rise to the legitimacy of their opinions it legitimizes their fear right if we talk about earlier precedents in the dr pradeep jain versus union of india case of 1984 the supreme court said that these sons of the soil policy they're unconstitutional in nature and although supreme court did not give any sort of ruling it did call it unconstitutional and if we talk about the next case very important case sunanda reddy versus prayed state of andhra pradesh in 1995 it also said the that the court struck down that state government policy it gave five percent extra weightage to people or candidates who have studied with telugu this is the discrimination now remember one thing there is a positive discrimination and a negative discrimination if we are giving preference to one section of people compared to the other section that is positive discrimination if we are giving disadvantage to one section of the people against the other section of the people it is negative discrimination in india what do we see mostly is positive discrimination giving a more opportunity to a section of people a section of persons who have been down, downtrodden since the very beginning so this is positive discrimination now in 2019 alabad high court it struck down a recruitment notification which is which was issued by the uttar pradesh subordinate service selection committee it was providing reservation to women who were domiciled in the state okay so you can see what the precedents we are talking about here with respect to sons of the soil policy there are many advantages as well as disadvantages as bureaucrats we have to balance our opinion with the help of seeing the pros and the cons so if we talk about advantages first it will redress the grievance of the local cadre about the lack of employment opportunities in their own state then it will give rise to balanced development if there is a centralization of employment opportunities in the country the other regions might not be able to develop in a balanced way 
the resources and the investment will only go to one state which is not healthy in nature for the longer run it also preserves local language and culture and also it calms the fear that demography is going to change if people are coming from another state to their state and if the companies will start investing and hiring in local hiring the local youths investing in them of course the investment will pay off why because they the youth knows better know how about how to what is the culture of the state how to communicate with the people of the state so it gives a better chance of success to the companies also it increases the motivation and morale of the youth who think that there are not enough employment opportunities in the country but at the same time we also see disadvantages because many important institutes such as fiki it has said that it will impact have an impact on investment companies might try to flight take a flight away from those states which have such policy because they will now be in an in a straight jacket to have this policy intact only and only to have youth from that cadre it might happen that not many talents can be found in a smaller pool it will b it is being touted as a short term move this policy if it has a high chance of failure if it does so if it fails it is actually a populist policy and it is very short it's for a very short period of time and it increases protectionism the world is of course looking in word america first make america great again china is having its own circular economy closed economy india is becoming an atmanirbhar bharat so of course that will translate into the states as well it will impact put impact on the freedom of private business the laissez faire the invisible hand of the market will also be in the grip of the government's hand if such policies start to get processed in each and every state if we talk about economic loss there will be an economic loss for the states if the companies take a flight away from those states the companies private companies and also to the companies if we have a shorter pool of talent a smaller pool of talent not the shorter we have a smaller pool of talent if the company will uphold reservation if compared with meritocracy talent hard work of course there will be economic loss and it is against the spirit of competition as i said laissez faire if we are having such a big grip through laws and policies on the private sector it will definitely reduce the morale of the citizens as a whole because at the end of the day one nation one ration one nation one election these all are actually unity in diversity but what about such policies which are striking at the core of unity in diversity right let's move on to our conclusion biggest conclusion we can take from here is we have to make sure that any extremities any extremities are definitely ignored we cannot be extremely in favor of local cadres and extremely in favor of hiring youth from the other states we need all the stakeholders to come together and chalk out the best policy possible that is in the interest of the local youth the youth of the rest of the country the government the private sector and the economy as a whole okay now let's talk about our question critically analyze the locals first policy in the private industries in india okay write it in 250 words so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching